light emitted by the sun is a polychromatic light, meaning it is made up by different light colors all combined together to give white light. This is why when you disperse sunlight you can see all the colors from the rainbow for instance, or why, when you spin this colored wheel, all colors mix up together to make up the white color. All lost. Natural light or daylight is incredibly good at rendering colors and make the world around us appear with its vibrant colors. But what about commercial lights? How good are they at rendering colors? To gauge the ability of light to render real colors faithfully, just like sunlight does, we need to talk about color rendering index. Color rendering index or CRI, or CIERA or RA is a quantitative measure that indicates how good a light source is at rendering colors faithfully, just like natural daylight does. The highest the CRI value, the better the light is at bringing true colors to life. Maximum value for CRI is set at 100 and negative values are even possible. What is effectively assessed by the CRI is the broadness and completeness of the light spectrum emitted by a light source. Does it contain all the light wavelengths to render all colors? Does it have a continuous or discrete light spectrum? Incandescent lights typically provide a full spectrum. They are effectively black bodies, and have therefore a CRI of 100. Some LED lights have supposedly reached a CRI of 98. Some compact fluorescent lights with their discrete spectrum have a CRI in the 50s. Low-pressure sodium lights have a CRI of minus 44. So what is more important when you want to choose light? It's CRI or its color temperature, that we discussed last time. Well it all depends, are you looking for a light to make your home look cozy? Then worry first about color temperature. Are you looking for a light to use in a studio for photo, video? Better to look at high CRI first. In any cases, if you understand what CT and CRI are all about, I have full trust you can now choose the right lights for your requirements.